It's a long way Welcome back. December 26th, the day after Christmas, a crisp Monday Monday morning, about 14 degrees out here on a cold, cold, snowy day on the homestead. We're about to embark on the video series that, that you guys have been waiting for for a long time, and that is the Dynafirewood processor. So that was the first piece of the, it was the first kind of piece of the puzzle that had to come together for this all to happen. The second was the log grapples. The huge deck of logs and the tractor for loading everything. With all the equipment in place, there's still a few obstacles we have. First off, our woodlot here, the area we're going to work, is completely covered in two feet of snow. We're going to deal with that. We can do that. Secondly, we need to take the backhoe attachment off the, the yen bar. Thirdly, my chainsaw decided to seize up when I need it the most, and I'm gonna to have to deal with that. So I do have a backup saw, small one, so we well, that's a workaround. But first thing we need to do is to take the backhoe attachment off. Now, Yanmar claims that this is the quickest, easiest attachment and detached backhoe system for a three-point on the market. We're gonna find out. Now, I've known some guys that have had backhoe attachments on their farm-style tractors and the setup process of taking off and putting on is such a such a difficult ordeal that they oftentimes don't use them. Knew a guy one time that actually would just go rent a backhoe because he didn't want to have to go through the process of putting it on. So this I've been told is going to be completely different. So the first thing, I actually read the instructions here. So the first thing we did is take the seat off and now uh, we'll um, uh, drop the boom. Put some cribbing underneath of it. We should be able to lower it down. Disconnect one hose. And that's it. Unbelievable. 
that is surprising. I was expecting this to be an ordeal. That's why I, I had put it off for so long. I thought, uh, that's gonna be half a day doing that. Four pins, these two big ones right here, actually two pins. These, the first two pins I took out, those, these are just for traveling, just to keep the boom from sagging on it. And the only tool I needed was a small pry bar and one hydraulic hose. I mean, good grief. So the tire chains came in and I've been I've been doing quite a bit of plowing. I've been plowing uh, for the neighbors and doing their roads and all that. One thing I've noticed with that with that big nine foot plow on there is that if it, if the road surface gets slippery, it wants to push the wheels. And so the chains are going to be really important uh, to have for that. What I fear, uh, so these had to be we had to have these custom built in uh, North Carolina. Oh, it took a long time. But what I fear, I have not seen them yet. Is the I'm, I wonder if they included the uh, tensioners. Oh, look at these! Look, oh, that's those are those are nice. Those are proper changes. I, I spec'd out heavy one and heavy ones. Look at the size of those links. But um, did I tensioners? You know the rubber part on there. I'm I'm afraid that they're probably not in here. So we've got chains all the way around. So we've got the front and the rear. So these must be the front here. Are they the same size? Oh, I shouldn't have cut that nice bag. Oh man, I got excited right there and cut my storage bag. Oh, I'm not going to keep them in these bags anyway. I'm going to put them in a in a more of, in a box. I'm not going to use those. They'll just rust in there. Yeah, look at these. Oh, those are really nice. Look how heavy they are. But, maybe they're in this box. Tensioners, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. No, it didn't make, they didn't make it. So I'll have to, we'll have to get those. I can't run them without those. And they're, they're big, so. Okay, well, we got plenty of other things we can do. Oh, I was going to show you. Look how heavy those are. Boy, those are nice. Gee, we're going to be un unstoppable. Unstoppable when you get those on. That's nice. Here's a... We even got a, a North Car spider from North Carolina right there. That's a, long, that's a long trip for him. Two birds and one stone. How about a quick gear review? Because I've been asked about this. It's amazing how observant you guys are. Whenever I have... <laughs> <laughs> anything changes in my EDC uh, there's always a whole bunch of you that notice it and have asked about this multi-tool I've been carrying this uh, Gerber multi-tool this uh, what is it the center drive the I drive this is the best multi-tool I've ever used um, for a couple reasons I don't care about all of those tools and gadgets on there what I want in multi-tools I want three things I want good pliers that are easy to get to I want a knife that I can one hand open and I want a screwdriver I want a good screwdriver and that's it. That's what I use in a multi-tool. What makes this one, for me, why I like it so much better than the Leathermans that I have, I have the, a couple of the waves, is one hand opening of the pliers. I can pull this out of my pocket. I can open it and close it with one hand. Like when I need pliers and I'm holding on to something, I want pliers. I don't want to let go of what I'm doing and, and do this butterfly action. I like this. And then, you know, replaceable cutters on there. And then the other thing is this. It's got the one hand opening knife right there that I can open and close with one hand. I really like that. But the best part is the screwdriver. So what they did, you know how this, how terrible screwdrivers are on multi-tools? You know how they're, they're offset on one side and so, you know, so they wobble they, when you're going around. I mean, they're almost impossible to use. This one here that they, they centered it. You see that? They centered it. So when you turn it, when I'm turning it like this, it turns like a normal screwdriver. It's the best multi-tool screwdriver out there. And that's really what we're using our multi-tool for anyway. And then the other nice thing is it just uses standard bits. It doesn't use those fancy proprietary 
as Nut and Fancy calls them, those two-dimensional two bits. These use the ones that we have, that we just use for our cordless drills. And we can store one inside right here. So we can have a regular one and a standard, just like that. You see right there? There's a Phillips, number two. So this is a game-changing multi-tool. And as far as I'm concerned, I mean, it just blows away everything, anything else I've ever used before. Good job, Gerber. So with the backhoe off there, I can use a draw bar now. I put a trailer ball on it. I can move the trailers around. We got to move the Dyna processor to uh, so we can plow the snow and get a nice staging area here. So did you guys have a nice Christmas? Oh, uh, we sure had a great time. It was nice to have. We hosted this year and we had lots of friends and family come over and just had a wonderful time. Everyone got along so well and uh, it was a great blessing to us. And to top it all off, we even got some fresh snow. So that, I don't know what it is about it, but it just something, something about it that just makes it just a little bit more special. It does to me anywhere. Anyway, so what do you think? Should we do some more Manly Manners? Should we give Manly Manners a second chance? You know, Manly Manners kind of fell down on us last, uh, what was a week or two ago? But I think there's a lot of good stuff in there. So let me know in the comments if you think we should continue and give Manly Manners a second chance. Now would be a good time, if you haven't already, to click the thumbs up. And don't forget, the best way you can support this channel, if you enjoy this content, if you enjoy it, daily videos coming at you for you to watch is to, is to thumbs up and to leave comments. And don't forget, right down there by the subscribe button, you'll see a little bell. If you click on that bell, you get the notification. Some people are getting unsubscribed. Actually, lots of them. I've heard from hundreds of people of subscribers that are being unsubscribed. No one knows why. It's not just me. Just an incredible mystery, I guess. But, um, yeah, I don't know. What else? There was something else. So the next few days, uh, you know, putting all this stuff together, there's a lot of machinery. There's a lot of moving parts. Um, things always take longer than, than I expected. I thought I'd have it all done today. So 
you know, I, I, I have to cut the video short. You know, we start running short on time and uh, upload are a real issue for me because of our remote location and satellite. So the next few videos are just going to be, I'm just going to bring you along. Well, I'm going to share what I got done that day. This is not the only thing I have to do, and um, I do as much as I can. So um, I'll bring you along, and we'll just move along as quickly as we can because I know you guys are as excited to see the processor as I am. So, again, thanks for watching. Sure, sure to appreciate it. Um, may God bless you, and let his peace be upon your homes. And we'll see you guys in the next video.